Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany Kelso and I started my YouTube channel about two years ago and then I took about a year-long hiatus and now I am back. For all of you who have stuck around and continued to subscribe to me even while I have been posting a video, you guys are awesome. Now I have an awesome place to film, it's all set up ready to go I'm ready to do it so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed yet please hit the bot ba 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 button down below and yeah so if you want to see how I got this cut crease as well as how I do my favorite glowy dewy base for dry skin then please keep on watching hi welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany and I haven't been here in at least a year. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was ever going to start filming again. I wasn't sure if I wanted to. So I'm glad that I have. I rearranged my whole room today, and especially so I could sit in front of the window. I have a ring light and natural lighting, and I just think natural lighting helps balance out your video a little bit. I have a hard time getting enough lighting without washing myself out, so I think that sitting in front of a window of natural light really helps. So I've got a new setup, and I have got new motivation, and we're gonna do this. So today is going to be a sort of chatty get ready with me. I really wanna show you guys just my favorite base. Um, I definitely have a specific routine that I do for my base. Almost every time I try to switch it up, but honestly, it's kind of difficult because I just love some of these things so much. I'm gonna tell you right now, my skin is really dry and I go for the dewy look. So if you're not the dewy type of gal, then maybe this isn't going to work for you, but you never know. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you liked this video, please hit a thumbs up. Um, and I really hope this video helps you out. We're just gonna hop right in. So the most important part for me for my base is definitely hydrating before I start anything. So I've already put on multiple different moisturizers, which is just part of my skincare routine in general. I already took a shower, washed my face, moisturized. That's all I did and done. Right now, I'm going to go in with the Health Hydrating Booster Drops. I am about halfway through this bottle, and I put about three drops on my face. Now it starts to get a little bit tackier as it dries. Now I'm going to use the Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Grind for my eyebrows. I just watched Kathleen's YouTube video on milk makeup and she was saying that she doesn't totally like this, but it's my favorite. This shade is too dark for me. This is when I was doing my brows really really dark but I still use it anyways because I don't want to buy a new one in a lighter shade. Also I haven't cut my brows. What? I haven't cut my bangs since I first got them done months and months ago. I've been cutting them by myself because I am cool um, and lazy. If they're super uneven just don't that would mean the world to me. So now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Bare 02. It's very light, but so light. I did get a request to do a cut crease tutorial, so that's what I'm gonna do today, something super neutral, because I also wanna do a little bit of a lip swatch. This is the Morphe Sponge, which is one of my favorite ones. Everyone's been saying that they changed it, or they think they changed it, and that it's different now. I hope not, because this is definitely my favorite one. Today, we are going to use Norvina. I am going to dip in with the shade Love, which is the pink color, because I really want to tie in this pink metal shadow, which I'm only going to use on the lower lash line because I have tried this before. We'll get into that. 
So I'm going to go in with love and then deepen the crease with both incense and volatile. I was trying to read it in the mirror, but it's backwards and I'm not smart, so let's do it. So you do kind of want to create the shape of a cut crease. I kind of just lay down the shadow and work on blending it out. And then when we get to the edge, we'll try to flick it out as best we can. So I find that the Huda Beauty shadow, I put the pink color on. I really liked it and I thought it blended really well, but I had a hard time blending any other color into it. So after I put it on, I tried to deepen up the crease and it was almost as if none of the colors would stick to it after it had kind of already settled and dried and been placed where it wanted to be. I couldn't really change it, so I don't want to actually use it on my eyelid. I'm going to use it underneath. So it's something I can have more control over and I don't really plan on using any other color. But the shimmer is beautiful, especially for cutting out a crease. I did do that, and I did like it very much. It didn't crack or anything. So as you can see now, I'm just going to flick it out. So like I said, now I'm going to go in with the two deeper brown shades, kind of going back and forth. So I actually dipped into Passion as well, which is the deeper burgundy shade, and I'm definitely feeling that. Now I'm going to make sure it's blended with love, and with love, but I meant the shade love. <laughs> I have two different brushes that I enjoy for cutting creases. They're kind of the same shape. One is just a little bit smaller. One is a Carity E25 brush, and then I have a Morphe M508 brush. And here are the tips. You can see I already used the Carity one to carve out my brows. This one's clean. I don't know. Is it clean? <laughs> Probably not. And I'm going to put some concealer on the back of my hand. And you can kind of smush the bristle, bristle, the bristle together. Smush the bristle. So, one trick you can do is placing the concealer right along your lash line, like so. You're going to get a line where it creases and it'll kind of give you a little outline on how high you should go. You can kind of see. I have to go over them a few times sometimes, sometimes just to get it as clean as I want. I don't really like how I curved it at the front, so I'm just going to go back over it and fix it. It's another reason why I like doing them this way, because if you go a little bit too crazy, you can just kind of add in spots where you went a little bit too deep. How I cut the crease, and it's going to look a little bit dirty at first, but that's fine, especially if you're going to put like a glitter in the actual crease, it's going to cover up the line you make, so if it's, if it's not perfect, don't know what to tell you. I'm going to take the shade Base, that nice nudie color, and I'm just going to set down the concealer with that. It's a nice pale skin tone shade. So this end, the pink end, is the shadow. It's called Private Jet and it's a nice little pinky color. And then we have Shimmering Sunset on the other side. I really, really like this color and I like how it applies. I like the applicator. I like it all. So I'm going to cut my crease with it, hopefully. So now I am going to 
do the other side, I am going to pop on some falsies and then we shall be back to finish the face. Alrighty, I have put on Bombshell Lashes and they are in the style peachy. They come in this really nice little box. Slides out and everything in the name right there. Love Bombshell Cosmetica, very nice brand. I do have to say that these do look a little bit like I have some really wonky eyelash extensions. They clump in very specific ways. So I'm just gonna wear them anyways, but I don't know if I'm really digging how they're clumping. I also don't know how old these are and I don't know the last time I used them, so it could have been my fault. So moving back to the face, I don't really prime anymore because I don't really know if it does anything for me because Okay, no. Let me just, let me be straight up. I don't prime anymore because I put my makeup on and then I take it immediately. So there's really no reason for me to do that. It's just another step that I don't really need to take. I do have a favorite foundation though. This is the Makeup Revolution London Fast Base Stick Foundation in F1. Lightest shade, still a little bit too dark for me. We're not gonna talk about it. And that's my favorite part about this concealer. Can you tell I haven't filmed in a long time? <laughs> it's my favorite part about this foundation is how dewy it is. So back to the ColourPop concealer. I'm just going to put that on my under eyes. doesn't like my dry skin the most. I mean, I've had concealers look less dry, but at the same time, at the same time, it's really, really nice. Another favorite, I try to keep it cream, 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 because I'm dry, like I said. So this is the Hollywood Contour from Charlotte Tilbury, and it blends out in less than a millisecond and is so beautiful and natural looking. So watch this guys. Done. Now my jaw's all carved out. Cool beans. Now it's time for the nose. which I basically brush along the edges. And then I either use my beauty blender or a more precise brush. Right now I'm gonna use a precise nose contour brush, my favorite one, by a brand called We Don't Know Her, and who cares? But I've had it for so long, I'm not gonna not use it. Powder, we've got the Blur and Set Milk Makeup Powder. I haven't used this in a while, actually. I kind of forgot that I owned it. Very sad, very sad. Now, I like to set my under eyes while also avoiding where I highlight. Now, I'm going to set my chin. And smile lines. So, everything else keeps its nice luminosity. The dew. It is still tacky though, so be careful when you're putting more powder products over top. So I'm going to bronze a little bit extra. I always use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer for the most part. Just kind of set and deepen the area that we contoured with a little bit of bronzer. Morphe brush is fucking shedding straight up from my face. Morphe is 
fucking annoying. Okay, I'm just to deepen up the nose a little bit. Just go along the sides again. Go to blush, luminoso for sure. I'm gonna just use the same brush. Now remember your cheeks are still a little bit tacky, at least mine are. So I'm going to start kind of towards the back and then mark my way up towards my cheek. I love this Milan blush because it is a baked blush so it's got some sheen in it and it's not gonna take away any of the sheen and shine I got still blooming through here. A little bit of a dewy dewiness. Sometimes I use the Dewy Wet Lipstick from Catrice and it's very tacky. But now I am going to tap my Super Shock Shadow and Flexitarian on top. Now, let's finish the eyeballs. I'm gonna take the hoodie, 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 hoodie. I'm gonna take the hoodie, hoodie. Which, I got this for free by the way, I did not buy it because I'm not into buying from Huda Beauty. I received this from an influencer. So that's basically all I wanted to do with that. I just kind of lined it with some pinky winky. So we do want to put some shimmer on the inner corner. I'm going to grab that little tiny Morphe brush that you could use for cut creases. I'm going to take the shade Dreamer and highlight my inner corner and brow. I like to make my eyes look a little bit bigger most of the time, so I will use the Milk Jumbo Pencil and line my waterline. Eyes are complete. That is how I would do a cut crease. A super simple one, which is I think what most of you are going for, so hopefully that helps. Now we're on to the fun part, which is a little bit of a lip swatch. I want to pull up this email that she sent me because it has the information in it about... Okay, I finally found it. These are from the brand called Happy Miss, which I think is just a play on... I don't know if it's Happy Mess or just Happy Miss. Happy Mess. They sent me these um, three lipsticks. They're called their High Class Lipsticks. And they actually have really nice packaging. I think they're magnetized tops. The shades are on the bottom, and they all say Happy Miss on the inside, and they've got their little logo on the top. So a little bit about these little guys. They are their high class lipsticks, and they are nourishing, and they are a high quality formula, and they have some awesome ingredients. Let me list them are for you. They have coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and shea butter. They have a satin cushion finish, so they're not matte, and they are 98% natural. So I really, really like that. I like that they are nourishing. I was a little bit nervous because I am allergic to tree nuts, which means I'm allergic to almonds. Um, I have already tried these. I had no problem with them. Let's give them a go and swatch them, shall we? Let's start off with deep lie back. That's kind of the one I want to wear. I wish I would put it on last. <laughs> now we're going to go for the shade Deep Coral. And the last shade that they sent me is all messy. Oh no, it's everywhere. Is the shade Red. At least you know what color they're going to turn out. So I do want to mention, they kind of smell exactly like the old school lipstick smell. If you ever used to try on your mom's lipstick back in the day, that is what they smell like. Doesn't bother me that they don't smell the best. I just like that they're comfortable. They go on pretty well, actually. Like, they're easy to put on. I'm gonna go put the lilac one back on because I think it matches the best. Oh, I broke it. That's 
sad. So I always like to give my face a little bit of a spray. We're gonna use the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Shake it up. This stuff makes me sneeze every single time. So this is the completed look. Got a little bit of a cut crease and an overlined lip. And that is my favorite way to get my dewy base. This is my favorite base. If I were to go out, this is what I would wear. If I were to keep this on longer than after I turn off the camera, this is what I would wear. My favorite. 